Hello viewers, welcome to Adolf and our series of super cool interviews. And who do we have today but the coolest of the cool, Joshua. Now let's hear what makes Joshua tick and what makes him click. So, hello Joshua. Hi ma'am. Good to see you today. So for the sake of our viewers, could you please introduce yourselves to everyone? Thank you. My name is Joshua Leonard and I am 10 years old. Brilliant. Now Joshua, the last year has been difficult for us all. But every one of us has something that they look forward to when they wake up in the morning. So what makes you happy? When I'm going somewhere, when I draw, and wearing new shoes, and also when it rains. Oh, so it's the sound of the rain that you really like? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that sounds lovely. All right. So I have lots of questions to ask you, uh, Joshua. And one is, if you, I don't know if you've got stuffed animals, but if you do and they could speak, what would they say? Um, uh, I'm thinking of my stuffed animal was alive. They would say that, am I even alive or do I even have a heart? Oh my gosh, yes. I think they'd be curious about you too, quite right. Good answer that. All right. Do you dream at all when you're sleeping? Yes, ma'am. I dreamed when I was little. I used to dream about earthworms eating me. Two very bad nightmares. Oh God, yeah. That doesn't sound like a good dream to have. I agree with you. All right. So, right now you are in a house and you've got your parents around. But is there anything that you would like to do without the help of your parents? Oh, uh, what I actually do without the help of my parents is draw. Oh, because I'm re I'm really good at drawing and um, I'm good. Okay, so you're good at drawing. Do you have anything nearby which could show me? Um, you know, you could show me maybe a, a latest drawing or something. I I draw. Yes. That's what I like doing, and I also have something that I some a, a drawing that I want to show. All right, show me. Oh, this is fascinating. And who is this supposed to be? Um, this is actually my favorite character. And the name of your character? Sonic. <gasps> thank you, thank you, Sonic. Makes you think of sonic booms and things like that. Lovely. Thanks, Joshua. This is what I do. Okay. Woo! Okay. So this is the hungry emoji you've created. He's starving. Yes, He's starving. Oh, I love it. When can you send this to me? Please send it to me immediately. Okay, man. This is a terrific emoji. This is Joshua's hungry emoji. Got it. All right. So Joshua, if you were a photographer and you had to choose what to photograph, what would you choose? Ma'am, I would take pictures of the buildings in the night. Why at night? Because there's a lot of light in the night which makes the pictures look mysterious. Oh yes, I like the idea of mysterious pictures, yes. Um, now I'm going to ask you another pretend question and that is pretend you're a chef and you have your own restaurant and you can create some really different uh, a, a dish which no one else has ever tried before. What would you make? Ma'am, I would make a, a Nutella burger. Good heavens, what is a Nutella burger? Please explain. Um, a Nutella burger is filled with all kinds of chocolates. Ooh, all right, chocolates, Nutella. Then, can, can you take me through the the way you make it, the Nutella burger? Uh, first, I put the Nutella, and second, I put the chocolate kisses. And third, I will put a like a layer of. Chocolate ice cream, and then I plate the burger on top. 
Oh my god, that sounds quite delicious. But quite an overload of sugar, don't you think? <laughs> all right, so that's different, all right. Now, I can see you created Sonic, right? Now, if I gave you the opportunity to be a superhero, um, what would your superpower and your name be? My superpower is to be invincible. Invincible. Wow. And what would you do with being invincible? Super powerful. What would you do? But uh, whenever I'm getting bullied at school, and so I couldn't feel anything if the bully tried to hurt me. Wow. What a great idea. You could do a lot of good with this power too, you know, Joshua. Not just defend yourself, but defend others as well. Not a bad idea. And would you give yourself a name? Yes, ma'am. What would that be? Uh, the name would be Super Joshua. Super Joshua. Okay, cool. Very nice. All right, so I'm going to ask you a few more questions now. Um, when you make a new friend, what is the most important thing you look for in a friend? Um, uh, what I'm looking for a friend is for the friend to help me in all times. At all times, not just in good times, but also when things are difficult, right? Can you can you think of a can you think of an example uh, where you would like your friend to back you up? If I'm getting bullied in school, and so my friend can just uh, complain to the teacher of what's happening. Oh yeah, it's good to have somebody at your back like that. I totally agree. And anyone can be bullied. Remember when we talked about that? So Joshua. If you had the power to make three rules for your home that everyone has to follow, what would those rules be? First rule would be that whenever I open the fridge, there would be unlimited food. Oh, unlimited food. Okay, that's your first rule. What's the second one? That uh, no one should run in the house. Yeah, I suppose not. It's noisy and it and it definitely could mean injury. Yes. So that's your second one. What's your third? The third rule is that I like everything being clean. So I would tell everyone to throw the trash only in the garbage. Excellent. That means you're quite environmentally conscious as well. Good idea. Right. Um, now we've heard what you like, but now I'd like to ask you. What really bugs you? Maybe annoys you in the world? Uh, Ma'am, what annoys me is that whenever I tell someone to do something, they say, okay, I'll do it. But then after some time, they don't even come. Oh, they forget all about it, you mean? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's terrible. I can understand how that irritates you. Um, right. Now, do you have any memory of last year or before that, that makes you happy? Uh, no memory. All right. Um, what about a birthday party? Was there any special about a birthday party that yes, uh, you would remember? Yes, ma'am. I remember my 10th birthday. Okay. Um, what happened on your 10th birthday? I was eating a cake and my tongue became blue. <laughs> that sounds lovely. A blue cake. It was a blueberry cake, was it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, gosh. All right. Now, um, if you had to eat only one thing for the whole week, what would you choose to eat? I would choose to eat chicken tikka. Oh, so chicken tikka is your big favorite. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't hear chicken tikka in your fantastic new dish. But anyway, that new dish was genius in itself. So that's okay. So Joshua, if you were allowed to keep a pet, what would it be? The pet would be a dog. Why a dog? You like dogs? Because I like playing with the dogs. They can also guard the house. Yes, yes. And also are very like energetic like I get energy when I play oh I love that yes and they're also very faithful so that's a really a good idea to keep a dog um, what is your uh, 
favorite thing to do with your parents? Do you like to do anything? Yes, ma'am. I like to draw with my parents. Draw with your parents. Yes, ma'am. Your parents can draw, is it? Mine couldn't, honestly. Uh, my mother could draw. Okay. All right. So she encourages you, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, lovely. And you're such a good drawer yourself. You've probably got her genes, right? So that sounds lovely. So Joshua, um, what would you like to do on a summer vacation? Your favorite thing? My favorite thing to do on a summer vacation is to swim in the swimming pool. Oh, I love that. Has that stopped because of COVID also? Yes, ma'am. What a pity. Well, that's one thing to look forward to. Hopefully, your next summer will be COVID free. Um, and I need talking about COVID. Um, do you have any one good memory out of COVID this whole year? Is that I don't have to go to school and I can learn online. Oh, you like online learning. All right. Um, Terrific. And finally, any message that you would like to give to your parents? I'd like to give to my parents is that I love my parents a lot. Oh, I agree. I love mine too. You're very lucky that you've got yours. And that's a good way to end. Right, that was your last question. So Joshua, thank you very, very much. I really enjoyed talking to you more power to you and I hope you really get everything you desire. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. Yay!